What's going on guys? Matt back again from the Guap Drop and this is our segment of the Guap Shop. So we're gonna be going over a couple of topics today. We're gonna be getting into my most recent pickups. If you've watched our videos about the thrifts and the meetups I've been going to, you should be familiar with some of these pickups. If you haven't, stay tuned. I got a lot of good deals I'm gonna show you guys. We're also gonna be going into a little investment talk. One of the personal shoes that I'm investing in that I think is gonna do very good numbers within the future. And then we're gonna be talking about some of the upcoming sneaker events that are in the New York area. I'm gonna let you know about those. So if you want, you can come check out the shows. It's gonna be a little bit of a dry month from here until about probably the middle of February. Before we get into that though, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, bitch. You don't subscribe. <laughs> so, off to my right, I have a bunch of shoes. Some of them you've seen, some of you haven't. So I'm just gonna go threes a little quickly because I want to get into other topics. Pay $28 for it. I don't think they know what they had because this is a 4D. I think these things go for about like 300 something. Um, the last one I think I had of these, I wound up getting like 125 for. So probably an easy 80, 90, you know, hundred dollar profit right there. Now this is a shoe that you'll be seeing in our upcoming videos. And the price that I got these for, is an absolute joke. If you don't know, these are the Yeezy 350 Cloud White Reflectives. I got these for, uh, I believe it was $130. I have the box here. It's all like messed up and everything though, but I wanted to take it out and show you guys. I paid $130 for these. Um, condition is awesome. I was looking at market. Market's around 430 for a brand new pair. Easy 300 for these, so I can make at least $170 off of these things. Definitely make sure to check out that video. All right, so the next pickup right here is another Yeezy Boost 350. Now, I don't know, for whatever weird reason, this man had some giant ass Sasquatch feet and he decided to sell me this pair of 350s size 14. This is what they're calling them, the naturals. Uh, I don't remember if I had this pair. These are dead stock. That is also in the same video that I got those cloud white reflectives in. And I'm not even gonna tell you guys what I paid for it. I'm just gonna let you guys watch that video and be amazed at what I got this dead stock pair for. You know, this is why I keep telling you guys, stick with us, go thrifting, check your local meetups, check Facebook Marketplace. You can get great deals like this. So stay tuned for that video. You guys are really gonna like that. So these you guys are already familiar with. If you guys saw our thrift video, when I went to one of the thrift stores and we came up crazy heavy in the thrift, I've already cleaned these up and uh, they're looking great. So here you go. This is a pair of Air Jordan bread uh, fours. They are B grades, however, but from what I was looking at, um, I was looking at them, there's nothing really too off on them. The only issue that I was seeing is over here. If you can see on the tongue right there, you see a tongue's a little weird looking than this one, which seems to be the only issue, which, you know, it does suck and it does affect, I guess, the value to some extent. But these things, I think brand new, are going upwards of $600. So to have a clean pair for, probably, I don't know, I'm gonna say 400, three, 375, 400 is definitely a, uh, definitely a good look. B grade necessarily doesn't mean there are humongous defects. The shoe is not wearable, it's fake. Cause I've heard that a lot. People are saying that B grades, oh, they're fake shoes. You might as well make fake shoes if you buy B grades. They're not fake. They come from the Nike outlets. I've gone over the whole reasoning behind why so many pairs get sent to the outlets and so along the lines. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video about that, about B grades and the differences. Still people think they're fake and I don't know why. So the other banger of that pickup, another shoe that I cleaned up and it looks really, really good is uh, these Black Hat 4s. Black Hat 4s, I think it was the biggest sleeper of 2020. And um, I remember us being able to get tons of these if we wanted to. Tons of these pairs for retail, tons of them. They hit outlets, these were not hard to obtain. For whatever reason, the market exploded with them. And yeah, now they're a $900 shoe that's brand new. Luckily, I got mine from the thrift in that video and I paid 280 worn once, super clean. You guys could see, very, very nice. Probably gonna try to sell these for anywhere between 550 and six. That's why I've seen a lot of the shops posting their pairs at. So that's probably where I'm gonna go. If I get a decent offer, you know, 
I'll see what happens, but that's where I'm aiming. I'm aiming for 550, 600 around there. We capping, we capping. So for everybody that's saying we capping that we didn't find these in the thrift, feel free to go out and check that video. That video is a thrift store that I hit up literally every day. And it's not like it's a thrift store where they hold me down when they get stuff in. I literally have to be in there to grab the stuff. So I'm cool with the people in there, don't get me wrong, but it's not like they hit me up and call me and they're like, yo, listen, yo, we just got these in. Come through, swipe them up. Nah, it doesn't work like that. Unfortunately, I wish it did, but it doesn't. Next pair. This pair I didn't really do too much cleaning on. Nike Dunk Low Veneers. Another pair that was from that video. Super clean. Uh, I think these were 210. 210, 230, somewhere around there. I can't remember which one, but these were really, really nice. These realistically, I was going back and forth in the market. I was trying to figure out what a price would be for these. I think I paid 210 for them. So I'm probably gonna try to get maybe three out of them, 325. Um, they are size 12, so bigger size than dunks usually do go for more money nowadays. I'm gonna try to get between three and 325 for these. We'll see what happens. I don't know, you know, I'll take trades, offers. We'll see what happens. Probably by far my favorite because it was dead stock. Now, you're gonna look at this pair and be like, yo, that's not the same pair. The pair you had was a 12. Yes, the pair I had was a 12. This is a nine and a half because I had to trade the other one for, uh, for business reasons. We have a nine and a half but this is the exact same pair, not this exact same pair, exact same colorway and model that I found in the thrift in a size 12. Uh, but if you remember, my box was actually damaged up here. This one wasn't. So I had to do a size swap um, because we needed it. These we paid $280 for, for some dead stock topes. Uh, yeah, I'll take that all day. If I was to probably sell these now, these are nine and a half. These I would probably try to sell for about 400. The size 12, being that it goes for so much more, those I probably would have sold for probably 450. If you look at the videos that I've posted up before, you'll notice that I think I showed you guys, I picked up a Yeezy 350. I paid $75 for that, the thrift. And you guys, I know definitely saw the Air Jordan 5 Oregon that I picked up from that meetup, that sketchy meetup. That's, you know, that's the nickname of those. Um, they're not the original Oregon Ducks. Original Oregon Ducks released, I believe, many years ago, and they were exclusive to Oregon. Um, that was their P. Yeah, there's a whole story behind all these P's, how a lot of these players got in a lot of trouble because they were selling them. Sneakerheads like you and me wound up paying 10, 20, $30,000 for a pair of PEs. There's a lot of significance to those PEs, but this one, you know, they took the they took the duck off in the back and everything, and they just, you know, like he did what they did. I wound up getting those for $60. The Yeezys I wound up getting for $75. So I was in the hole about 135. So what I did was I decided to uh, trade up and get something brand new. So here we have is the Nike Dunk Low Gold Rods or Golden Rods, whatever you want to call them. A lot of people I'm probably going to get flamed for this, but the thing was, it was $40 to do the size swap with the topes. I needed the topes on a nine and a half. And then they had these for $200. Now for both of those shoes, I paid 135. They gave me $240 store credit. So $40 went to the Topes, and then the $200 went to these. Shout out to Sold Out Jersey City. This is where I got them from. Dope spot. If you guys are in the Jersey City area, definitely go check them out. They definitely have a huge selection of shoes uh, for you guys to grab at really good prices and no tax. Remember that. If you're trying to buy an expensive shoe and you want to save on tax, go to Jersey and get your shoes. It's definitely better. They definitely need a better store because they got shoes all over the place. But definitely a dope store to check out. The next pairs I want to talk about are the investment pairs. Now, these are pairs that I've picked up. I have a couple more more over here but this is another shoe and I keep saying it this is a pair that I know is going to do good you have the Air Jordan 1 low bread toes now I want you guys to go to StockX and maybe we'll put up on the screen over here look at the shadows that just recently released the shadow one lows take a look at those then go take a look at the black toe lows that released a few years back in grade school these things are over, I believe it's, they're over $300 or they're pushing close to four in grade school. Now you could still pick these up 
for relatively cheap. Um, 130, 140, some people are charging 150. I'm willing to spend the 140 on them just because I feel these things are gonna go up to 300. And if I can get 30, 40, 50 pairs and double my money from all of them, you know, I'm willing to do it. And the thing is too, what you have to understand is if you're able to get pairs at retail and then get pairs that you have to pay resale for, your cost of goods you can bring down that cost a little bit. And if you wind up averaging it out, it'll only wind up coming down to maybe 110 per pair or $105 per pair. And that's how you have to look at it. Don't look at it as well, you know, I spent $75 on this pair of retail and now I'm paying 140 resale. Don't look at it like that. Cause if you look at it like that, you're not gonna win. You gotta look at it as how many units can you get and make the most money off of. Because if each unit you can get for an average of 105, especially if you hit pairs for retail, for 105, 110, when these things shoot up to 260, 270, $300, you're gonna be very, very happy you invest in these. So my recommendation for these would be sizes five through seven. I wouldn't go any smaller than that. Those sizes are really, really hard to sell. Five through seven seems to do the best. Adult sizes for me, I know they're up there in price, but they're in like the 180s, 190, some 200. I would stay away from those, just it's starting to get a little too high for me. And you know, I know a lot of the younger kids, they gravitate towards mids and lows because you know, they're more affordable in the sense. And a lot of them, I guess sometimes they like them. You know, these are kind of dope to me, but would I have a rock a pair? No, I would never rock a pair of lows or a pair of mids for that matter. If you're looking to get these, I'd say grab them now. Pay that 130, 140 price point, hold on to them for at least six months, and we should see the same result like the shadows. We have a few upcoming events also that are gonna be within the New York area. And the first one is gonna be Sneaker Exchange. Now, Sneaker Exchange, I was recently at. If you guys saw the video where I did all those sales, we'll put that the sneaker event video around here somewhere. That was Sneaker Exchange, and that was a phenomenal event. I sold practically every damn shoe that I brought in there. A lot of the shoes I brought in were all in really good condition. Maybe that was the reason, but I did, I think, close to almost $10,000 in sales that day. And that is gonna be on March 13th. We'll put the flyer up here. This is not a paid promotion for them, but I just figured to let you guys know, if you guys are looking to go to a sneaker event, there is one. I will be there with the table, with the GoPro, filming all the transactions. So it'll be really good to see you guys out there. If you guys are looking to get some steals and deals, I definitely have some. You know, we're gonna be bringing out some, you know, grade schools for the cheap and everything. So, you know, we got, I got a few things that, you know, I've picked up in the thrift that you guys haven't seen. If you haven't, make sure to check out our shorts. Our shorts are where I put up a lot of our stuff, a lot of the deals that I do pick up that don't make it to the big videos, uh, to like the meetups and everything. So we also have one more event. This other event right after that one is March 27th and that one is called Drip City Market. I originally was supposed to go to one of these, I think it was a few years back and I didn't get a chance to. This is gonna be at Resorts World Casino, 110 Rockaway Boulevard in Jamaica, Queens. Resorts World Casino, if you guys don't know it, look it online. You can take the A train to get there if you guys don't have transportation, because I know some people don't drive. But if you are trying to go, I definitely recommend pulling up. I'm gonna grab my table there. It should be really good. It should be a very interesting event because we are gonna be inside a casino and to enter Resorts World, you only have to be 18. You don't have to be 21 because it is regulated by the New York Lottery. I could definitely see people going in here, you know, selling a pair of shoes, run to a roulette table or something, and then going back and then trying to buy a whole bunch of shoes. It, I know it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen to somebody. Maybe it'll even happen to me, who knows. I wanna know from you guys, what content do you guys like? Do you guys enjoy these videos? Do you enjoy the thrifting videos? Do you enjoy the sneaker show video. Do you enjoy the meetup videos? I would love to hear it in the comments below what you guys think of the new content that we are bringing you. We are trying to be a little more diverse in our content. We want to bring you better content. You know, this is why we are putting money into GoPros and extra equipment and lighting and all this stuff because we want to bring you guys better videos. But before I let you guys go, we do have a few releases that are releasing between February 2nd and February 4th. And that list is 
a little extensive. We have a bunch of dunks that are going to be restocking, a bunch of dunks. We have a few Jordan Lowe's, including the Mocha Lowe's, which shout out to my boy Namra, sitting on close to damn near over 200 pairs, all copped for retail. It, it It's great. It's really, really great to see how good the kid's doing. But he's got over 200 pairs of Mochas that he's sitting on. There's going to be Jordan 1 mids that are going to be restocking. Like I said, Jordan 1 lows, dunks. Those three days are really, really going to be crazy. All the way from February 2nd, all the way to the 4th. It is going to be absolutely insane. And if you don't know where to find all this information, make sure you check out our affiliate links down below. Cook Alerts. Cook Alerts is by far the best cook group we have ever been a part of. Credo and his team will definitely lead you in the right direction of helping you guys cook all these releases on release day so you're not stuck there with a puss on your face saying, damn, I didn't get my shoes. If you want, check out the links down below. They will definitely set you up in the right direction. Uh, we've been a part of them for probably almost close to, what, three years by now? Probably close to three years and you know we love being a part of cook alerts let me know what you guys think of the video if you guys haven't already make sure to subscribe put those comments down below hit that notification button and hit that thumbs up button it really does help out the algorithm of these videos and helps us reach more people so they can watch the videos and we can do possibly more giveaways and we can do more content and bigger and better content for you guys we really do enjoy doing these videos for you guys so we greatly appreciate all the support we have gotten so far and until next time we'll see you guys Peace.